All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Odyssey Life. I'm Bernie. <laughs> this is the Odyssey Life Workshop, and I'm always super excited when you decide to stop by because today we're back on the reassembly of the GT250. If you're new to the channel, the GT250 is a 1981 Honda Odyssey themed after a 1967 Mustang GT500, dubbing her the GT250. I don't know where the theme came from. It just popped in my head like apple pie, baseball, American flags. Do you see it? This like there was just something about that that made this just that that theme just decided to be. That's what it is. I don't know how to describe it. Just one day it popped into my head. Super excited you stopped by today. Uh, we're going to be continuing the reassembly of the GT250 by... Uh, rounding out the front end by installing our hubs with new bearings and seals. Uh, we're going to do our best to get our transmission, axle, uh, drum brake on the, on the right side, uh, you know, and get that installed with our, uh, with our bearing block. Also with the new oil seal, bearings, and the outer seal. Going to be installing all that today, so hopefully we can put her back on the tire she showed up in. They're only temporary shoes until she gets her new ones. As I said, there's a lot of goodies yet to be slapped on this bad girl, so stick around. If you want your free chance to win the GT250, hit that subscribe button and that automatically gets your name in the hat hey. for when we have the free drawing to give this bad girl away. Super excited for the winner, and it's not even ready to be given away yet. So anyway, guys, super excited to be back in the Odyssey Life garage, and I'm even more excited that you're here. So I guess on that note, let's get to work. All right, folks. So I drug our I drug our little bench over here, our little work table over here, so we can do these bearings and seals on this nice sturdy table. So, so what we have here is we have our two front hubs, and we have these front front hub bearing kits from oddatv.com. You can go on to oddatv.com and get new bearings and seals for your FL250 front hubs. So what comes in the kit is two bearings and two seals. And I'll put up on the, up on the screen right now where all the parts needed are these two collars, the two bearings and the two seals, one collar for each hub one set of bearings and seals for each hub and as what we'll do is we'll start from the back we'll put our bearing in then we'll put our seal and then we'll flip her over uh, if you look at the page it says that we're supposed to put grease in there i think back in the day these bearings uh weren't sealed bearings and you had to pack the bearings but they do say put grease in the collar so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the put the bearings and seals in the bottom side, and then we're gonna put grease in there, and then put the bearings and seal, or put our collar, the bearings and seal in, and then we'll be good to go. All right, let me get the grease and we'll get started. All right, let's open up our little packages. I just wanted to get a paper towel so we had it so when we make a mess with our grease <laughs> I got something to clean it up with all right let's start with this bad boy I brought our little can of uh, lubricant so we're not putting our uh, putting our bearings in dry let's do this Look on the inside, our bearing is seated. So let's go ahead, put our seal on. There we go, our seal's in there. Let's go ahead, flip it over, put some grease in there. Or let's put our collar in there first. <laughs> okay. 
Now we'll start by putting our second bearing in. Wow, that went home real nice. Here we go, guys. That spindle's done. Let's knock out this second one. All right, next is our bearing block. All right, so we here we have our beautiful bearing block. And you can get the seals and bearings for this also at oddatv.com. Get in there, get yourself something to keep your machine running. So, all right, is what we're gonna do is we have an oil seal that goes in like so, and we have a bearing so we're gonna go ahead, it does call for grease in here. And even though this is a sealed bearing, I'm still gonna put grease in here. So let's go ahead, we'll get our uh, WD-40 sprayed in there, get our oil seal in there. Oops. Get our oil seal, then our bearing, and then our outer seal, and then we're good to go. As you can see, that's that's filled with grease. Let's go ahead, drop our bearing in there. There we go. Got a little bit of uh, grease squirting out, which is a good thing. Make sure that bearing's seated all the way down. Yep, everything looks good in there. So let's go ahead, let's take our outer seal. Maybe we'll go ahead and we'll put some grease in here. It's like welding with grease. <laughs> oh man, we have too much fun here. All right, now that we've got our grease biscuit here, let's go ahead, let's slap this bad boy home. We are sealed. Everything's good. We got it. We've got enough grease in there. Whoever's gonna win this, don't ever have to worry about that bearing going bad. All right, folks. Looks like our ATV jack is being used to hold our pizza. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you smell that? It's from Joe's Pizza tonight because Venice Pizza was closed. Guys, I am starving. My belly is touching my back. I'm gonna eat and I'll get back to you in a second. You know the drill. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're here to put the studs in our hubs. And it's really simple, guys, if you're confused. Uh, these, uh, these studs have stud uh, nuts that go on the back right here these hub nuts are a 14 millimeter so we want to go ahead we don't want to drive them in till they split the casing but we just want to put them in there till they're snug there And then we can put our hub nut on the back and that locks it from being able to be pulled out then or have it vibrate out. So I'm gonna do another one just to show you how easy it is. Thread your, thread your hub or your stud nut all the way to the bottom. Start it. Started in the threads always by hand. I mean, that's my, that's what I would do. And then, just like that, back off your nut. Put your nut on the back.
All right, guys, I'm gonna knock out the other three and or the other four, and yeah, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> All right, guys, our studs are on our spindles. Let's slap those bad boys on. So the first step we have to do to reassembling our rear end is get this uh, get this bearing block built out. And is what I mean by that is we have to put all of our brake stuff on in order to uh, be able to slide the axle through. When we bolt this up to the frame, we won't be able to take this back off once we get the hub on. Or I mean, we can, but it'll just be a big hassle. So let's go ahead and put our... Uh, put our uh, block together and to do that to start out you want to put our backing plate on and that's uh, four 10 millimeter bolts with lock washer all right next are our brake pads and we're going to stick part of our bearing block off of the uh, off the edge of the table because so when we stick our brake shoes in here part of this side will go on this and then these this end will sit right in that groove right there but if we have it sitting on the table, it pushes this too far up and it doesn't sit right and we can't put it together correctly. So we go ahead, put our brake shoes on there and then get her in there and then pull her on. That seemed like it worked a little better. There, now, when we put on our put on our brake, that's how our brakes work. We have to put on our brake drum, freshly painted and restored. And then our cover.
All right, folks, hope you can see that. Got the ATV jack uh, with the axle. We have our, I wanna see, there's that. There we go. Had to slide that all the way in there, give her a good push. Put that on there. And that's in there. All right, let's go over, get the transmission. And we wanna put that in. Actually, we wanna set it inside the frame. And move the uh, move the axle accordingly. There. In fact, let's go ahead and get our four transmission bolts and four lock washers. Let's get our transmission up into place. Guys, just so you know, this is my first time disassembling, assembling, uh, or anything with an FL250. This is my first time, so. All right. Now that we got that set up there, I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I think this will go high enough. There we go, gentlemen. Let me jack this up to hold this in place while I get the bolts. We have uh, two 12 millimeter bolts for our bearing block. There, now that you've got a better angle. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. All right, let's zip these down. Zip this one down. All right, guys, last two steps or put these spacers on. Remember, when you put your axle in, the side with the transmission gets the long end with all the splines, and the end with the brake drum gets the short end with the splines. It also gets the short cap, and that side gets the long one. And of course, I put grease in all of that, greased it up all nice. And all we gotta do is put that in there, Put our washer says this side out and our crown nut and we'll be ready to put tires on this and have ourselves a roller all right i'm gonna get to it
right, folks, what do you think of that? The GT 250s down on our own four. I hope you guys found this episode super informative. I had a good time doing it. And don't forget, this is my first time disassembling and reassembling an FL 250. It's all from memory, guys, and just what I have in the bags, the Odyssey Owner's Manual and the Odyssey Life YouTube channel. I went back and watched my own videos, put this back together, guys. So I'm super excited. If you want to, head over to the Odyssey Life Facebook page. Be part of the family. It's a whole different Odyssey experience over there, guys. There's no attitudes and egos. We answer all questions, like I always say. But if you get in a fix and you want to keep up with what's going on in the Odyssey Life garage, the Odyssey Life Facebook page is the place to do it. Head on over there, join, become part of the family. And don't forget about our proud sponsor, Joe, from Odd ATV. He's the sponsor of everything cool in the Odyssey Life Garage, and we're sure glad to have him. He's also the premier place for FL 250 and 350 parts. Guys, all the parts you're seeing in this rebuild, unless I specify, they all came from oddatv.com. So anything you see here, uh, the bearings, the seals, all that, you need some for your FL 250 or 350. Head over to, oh yeah, head over to oddatv.com. Get yourself some parts. Well, folks, I guess that's another GT250 episode in the, you know, in the history book. Super excited. Again, my face hurts. I'm smiling so much. Don't forget, next week we'll be back on the FL350. Hopefully, hopefully, I've been saying it now for three FL350 videos now. We're going to get that carb tune. We're going to have a rip and ride time, guys. All right, folks, until next week, stay safe. If you're riding, wear a helmet. And don't forget, it ain't work if you're having fun, guys. See you next week. Super excited.